Good morning. Welcome back to another church check-in at Shepherd's Heart. Mm. I don't really need this for the moment. I'm pretty socially distanced. Well, I come to you with good news this morning. Following the health and safety precautions and regulations, and after much preparation this week, we are going to resume our in-person services starting this Sunday, May 10th. Now it is with understanding that they do recommend that people 65 plus stay home for the time being. Also, services are not going back to normalcy. There's going to be a lot that we're going to change in order to make sure that we remain safe and that we lower the risk of anything. We are going to resume our life application classes at 9 a.m., but we're going to maintain safe social distances, so we'll be spread out throughout the rooms. It is very strongly recommended that you do bring a face mask and wear it if you can. If you do not have one yet, I do have a few I'd be willing to provide to you this Sunday. We will not be serving coffee until further notice. Our actual worship service will resume at 10 a.m., but we're gonna ask that you maintain safe social distances in the pews, at least six feet apart. Try not to sit directly in front of or behind someone. Same way with leaving, don't stand in the back and congregate and talk as much as we want to do that. We're going to trust each individual to take care of themselves personally. Avoid as much contact as you can with general surfaces. We're limiting the number of people who use the bathroom at a time. All of the pens and papers are going to be removed from the pews. We're not going to be passing anything out. So hopefully this will just be a time to come together, worshiping the Lord with a sense of space, a sense of community, putting the body back together physically. Now again, if you feel unsafe or uncomfortable with coming to the service, we encourage you to stay home also. Do not feel that pressure. We are still here. We're still with you. We're going to be live streaming and broadcasting the service. And if you don't catch it right at 10 a.m., it will be available for later viewing. We're going to keep up with these church videos. So the check-in, the midweek, the Friday devotional, they're all here to still keep you spiritually fed and connected. And again, if you guys need prayer, feel free to send that to the church. We want to pray with you. We want to be there for you as much as we can. There's a team of volunteers here today working to clean up the sanctuary. We had some sawdust fall down when the roof was being worked on. So we're very grateful for those volunteers. But also we're gonna have an opportunity to clean up the property this Saturday, May 9th, probably from about 9 a.m. to noon to work on cleaning, weeding, anything that Ron is going to share with us as far as a list of things that need to be done. Again, maintaining our distance and safety practices when we're together, but still acting in good stewardship of what we have here and what we are blessed with. And again, if you're not comfortable coming out physically when other people are present, there is a posted list of things that need to be done. So if you wanna come as an individual during any point this week or in the coming weeks to work on something, you're absolutely welcome. If you're part of our membership here, you're going to be receiving an email with all of this laid out. So no worries if you didn't catch all of the details. Importantly to note, we're resuming services. We're coming back together. If you can't come, we're still here for you. We hope that God blesses you and that you feel his presence. Whether you're here or there, anywhere, God is with you. I'm praying that he blesses your week. I'm praying that he blesses our work to be done here. That he's in the minds and hearts of each person in our leadership because I'm sure that most of us could use a peace of mind about this entire thing. But thank you for your support, your continued donations of time, of gifts, of offerings. All of it is important. So thank you for being here for us. Take care of yourselves out there and stay safe. Until next time, bye-bye.